all right good day to today's inventors class so seeing the picture of the problems on the screen right here we are having what we are having six parts we are having six parts which will go which will be assembled the first part there is the bush followed by the pulley followed by the nut followed by the washer followed by the bolts and followed by the what by the frame all right so let's start with the bush let us start with the bush all right so that bush uh we are going to actually create a circle here yeah, a circle of diameter 21 21 all right and diameter 15 on the inside 15 on the inside okay okay so we finish that sketch all right and we use extrude we are extruding to the length of what length of 75 75 all right as you can see on the screen right the length of what length of 75 okay okay all right okay so this is what this is the bush all right so i've saved it as what well as bush so let me make it realistic i'm going to use uh brass soft yellow okay then view i'm going to make it what realistic all right so that's that about that so i'm going to create the pulley I'm creating the pulley this time around I'm creating what the pulley okay so for the pulley create a new environment then uh, create sketch all right after creating my sketch so I think this pulley is uh, let me use a revolve let me use the revolve command all right so if I'm using the revolve command the biggest diameter here is diameter 100 why the height the total length of the pulley is what 75 so let me make this area what 75 enter okay 75 okay starting from the top so this area this smallest diameter there is what is diameter 50 and that is going to be what radius what 25 enter with radius 25 enter okay our height there i think the height there are also what 25 25 enter okay so coming down here the next diameter is what 75 so 75 divided by 2 75 divided by 2 that is going to be uh 37.5 so 37.5 minus 25 37.5 minus 25 equals to 12.5 right there so the reason between here this area down here is what is the 7.5 like that so height of what again height of 25 enter then the last part here the biggest diameter there is what is 100 which is radius what radius 50 then what enter and height of what 25 which is this then i'm going to what close it right here okay that's been settled so we have a hole inside that hole of diameter what diameter 21 so i'm going to pick a line right here in this manner downward all right dimension is going to be 21 divided by 2 21 divided by 2 equals to 10.5 that's what finish sketch okay finishing my sketch picking this view in this manner i'm going to pick my what revolve command so picking my revolve command i what i pick this area then what my axis will be what right here okay okay it's still coming up sorry wow so that's it it's kind of big so that is our pulley so i'm going to press what okay i'm going to press okay in that manner so that is our pulley as you can see on the screen right there as you can see on the screen right there okay so uh, it seems i've actually made a mistake on this bottom part here yeah so that's my bad that's my bad all right so let me correct that now let me correct that all right since the whole of year to year is going to be what is going to be 50 then let me take this dimension off then dimension this down here to be what to be 50 enter so that's how it ought to actually be then what finish my sketch so it's going to correct itself 
so this is my pulley now this is my what this is my pulley so this pulley I'm going to make use of uh, something cool yeah something like uh, let's say a mild steel a mild steel view realistic all right so that is what settled I'm going to name this as my what as it is in the diagram as my what as my pulley P U L L E Y pulley then what save it all right so that's it so i'm going to create a new working environment all right create i'm producing the third item there the third item there is the boat all right is the boat i'm going to be creating the boat so start sketch that boat yeah we are not given the dimension of the eight ball the diameter of the boat which is going to enter the note is diameter of uh 15 okay since the diameter of our washer is 34 and diameter of our boat is m15 then we are good to go so click on this area pick polygon picking my polygon standing right here create this picking my dimension across corner across corner to be what uh 34 enter then i'm going to pick my what my circle circle right here diameter of what diameter of 15 enter then i'm going to what finish sketch in that manner so finishing my sketch in that manner okay so having uh figured this way we click on what extrude so we pick both yeah yeah we fill it both so towards the bottom is what mark of what 10 we press what okay so let's create a sketch on the head of this hexagonal shape all right so pick your circle you need a circle tangential yeah to that hexagonal shape right there as you can see finish sketch all right extrude clicking my extrude i click on intersect then i click on more then i click on 45 all right so okay so i'm having it in this manner so right now i'm going to click on extrusion sketch shear sketch all right sharing my sketch right there i'm going to click on extrude now so extruding i'm extruding this portion all right but towards the bottom so filling it right this way length of what 150 downward and i'm having what okay in that manner so i'm going to come here and what hide that sketch okay so i'm going to make this look silverish also let me use silver let me use silver all right then view visual style realistic okay in that manner so having it this way so as you can see the tip of it over there so we are going to apply chamfer even though that dimension wasn't given let's use chamfer of what two two mm okay all right then it is what a threaded part but the thread yeah we don't need to do the thread to the bottom to the extreme bottom so i'm going to thread in this to a length of or let's see something like since this is 150 all right 140 140 70 12 12 let's assume 78 plus uh 20 that's 98 98 let's say 100 so 100 minus 140 is what 40 so let me do the thread to the length of what 40 so making it a what is thought length of what 40 all right so the reason why i'm applying this is this normally in the world of engineering so this kind of boat tend to be much more stronger than the one that is actually traded to the extreme end here you understand so that's just it i believe we might have seen something like this before if we are conversant and we are very observant we okay, are going to save this as my what as my boat all right so the third article has been what created as it is so my control n is my control n i click on what create i'm going to create uh the washer the washer okay the washer so the washer the diameter of what 34 okay coming right here picking the circle diameter of what 34 okay and the whole of the washer is what uh 15 diameter 15 yeah so we are not given okay the thickness of our washer let's make it three 
here as it is in the question thickness of what of three then what okay so for the object learning it is of uh something brown soft yellow welded something like this okay let me make it of this so then i'm going to what's control else making this as what washer washer okay okay in that manner all right so the next part i'm creating the knot this time i'm creating the knot all right i'm creating the knot so start to the sketch right here okay so i'm picking my polygon hexagon shape across corner on that plane dimension here to here will be what um, dimension of uh, let me use 34 also then my circle will be what diameter of what diameter of uh, 15 enter then finish my sketch then extruding it to height of what 10 10 is okay present my okay so i'm going to chamfer both and maybe one mm chamfer one right here okay then right here also okay okay then picking this face creating a sketch all right so picking my circle drawing a circle tangential to one of the sides in that manner finish sketch clicking my extrude clicking my intersect more 45 then okay i'm having that end over there then my thread okay yeah thread in that area pressing my okay then I need to make this also realistic so i'm going to pick uh s let me pick silver for this also then view visual style realistic so we have our notes and you see our notes so it's okay like that so we save this as as not enter so let's produce the last part here which is what the frame yeah the frame okay the frame so in this frame yeah there is uh, a little bit of adjustment i actually felt is actually needed for example now the gap in between the frame where the pulley we actually sit i'm having a mark of 78 right there meanwhile the total length of that pulley is what is 75 so which ought not to be so so i'm going to reduce that gap of 78 all right i'm going to reduce that gap of 78 into 75 i reduce that gap of 70 towards to 75 okay so let's have that at the back of our mind so if we are going to produce this our our frame where do we start from where do we start from so i'm going to actually draw it from this front elevation i'm saying yeah this elevation i'm saying that's it i will actually start my distance from that area that has a section excess all right that's where i'm going to start this particular object from that i'm going to start my drawing from all right so the very first thing is pick a circle produce this circle circle of radius i mean diameter 15 enter okay and the distance between this circle to this area here is what uh 85 85 enter so in this manner so i'm also going to produce a circle of radius 18 that's diameter what diameter 36 enter in that manner all right so after doing that i'm going to pick my uh rectangle i'm producing a rectangle of height of 15 then width of 125 one two five enter in that manner so picking my coincident constraint you can see the midpoint right here sitting right here in this manner you can see all right then i'm going to pick 
uh, this very line right here so from here down here then from here down here so I'm going to pick my hidden line okay produce this right here can you see so why do I need that hidden line I'm going to use this command here this symmetric command all right so just follow me as we proceed so picking my dimension the dimension from here to here as seen in that diagram yeah the dimension there is uh 88 is mark of what mark of 88 all right so bringing it down there picking my 88 enter so you can see it falls to one side and the other so i'm going to use my symmetry command so this this then this can you see okay so it, nothing is bad so picking my dimension circle to this midpoint okay i dimension it as well as zero so it's written this back you see perfect all right so picking my tangential constraint this to this then this to this right here all right so that being settled and done i'm going to click my words my okay uh, i think somewhere towards the back we are having uh if you look at that other view there you're having one area comes out with the length of what three all right and that area is diameter 21 so picking my circle from this midpoint switching off the hidden line from this center circle of diameter was 21 enter okay then what finish sketch after finishing my sketch i do the positioning this way all right so now picking my extrude picking my extrude so i'm going to start from this bottom first of all all right from this bottom towards the back right here okay from this bottom and that line towards the back right here i'm having yeah uh, so it requires some calculation so i'm trying to figure out its calculation all right i'm trying to figure out its calculation okay so it's half of 78 is uh 39 all right so 39 39 plus 3 39 plus 3 that's 42 all right so 42 42 towards that side 42 towards that side all right then 82 plus 12 94 towards this side 42 towards that side and 90 two towards i mean 42 towards that side and 94 yeah 94 towards this other side here all right so that's what we are going to do we are going to use this asymmetric command okay this area will be what 42 42 half of 78 is 39 39 plus 3 is what 42 towards that area then back here back here okay let's do this way 42 towards that area all right so half of 280 is what is 140 right yeah it is 140 so 140 minus 42 140 minus 42 that will be the total dimension towards this area here yeah correct okay i click my words okay so click my this thing i'm going to what share sketch okay clicking on my extrude right now on my extrude i'm clicking on this this and this out here is length of what length of 12 towards the outside here and i'm clicking what okay all right i'm clicking okay so seeing this area here i'm going to click on extrude and i'm clicking on this right here and that is what length of what three 
and it is what facing this other side there then i'm thinking what okay all right so i'm going to click on uh my all right so to make my work needs, let me first of all hide these dimensions here yeah visibility over there so i'm going to click my chamfer chamfer with what distance or chamfer uh 3 mm then click on this edge here because that edge was actually what chamfered that's it okay so you two take a very good look at it you can see just as it is in what in that question all right so after that what else am i going to do what else am i going to do i am going to actually come to my origin right here okay i'm going to click on xy plane xy plane clicking on create sketch that xy plane divided that object into two for me so if you use another plane from the inset just try and get that plane that will divide this object into two equal halves all right just like this then i'm going to click on what project cut edges then i'm going to pick my line in this manner i'm going to draw from here down here okay pick my dimension the height from here all right from here down here is what is 50 50 in that manner and all right so this area right here to the other side is what is 200 so 200 half of 200 is what is 100 then out of 100 we remove uh, 42 from 100 we are left it what with uh 58 58 so the distance from here down here is uh 58 no that can work control z no 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 if you here to there is 200 100 100 100 okay so the dimension will be what sorry it will be what 100 okay from that area so that is that area set to the right there then i press my what my finish sketch after pressing my finish sketch i come to pick my what my extrude i pick this area i pick symmetry then what the thickness the thickness here is what is 12 all right so that is it then i press what okay i press my what's my okay okay so those edges were actually uh filleted they were filleted so i'm going to pick my sorry the edge yeah fillet so i'm going to pick fillet of let me use radius uh radius six fillet of radius six all right in this edge in this edge in this edge on this edge on that edge right here right here okay right here right here right here right there right there right there okay and probably right there and i'm going to press what okay that's it can you see so i only created half half part of it so i'm going to actually use the mirror command now to replicate the other half down there so how do i do that i'm going to press on uh plane when i click on plane i press this area all right so then i'm going to also press this you can see i'm having this plane right here yes or no so i click my what mirror mirror command that is mirror so i'm going to pick everything i want to actually transfer to the other side mirror is like replicating what you have here to the other side so picking all those components okay i think that's everything yeah we've picked everything needed so check so we pick everything needed so i'm going to press my what mirror plane mirror plane that's going to be this and i'm going to press what okay as it is so can you see so that is it over there that is it over there all right so 
yeah it fails to carry this area let me see whether i can carry this area so mirror command this is what i want okay we can't carry this area i'm coming uh this chamfer let me remove this chamfer first okay removing that chamfer then clicking on my mirror feature yeah i can carry it so that's it then okay so because i chamfered it so i can now what hide this work plane visibility hide it so now let me use my chamfer now chamfer of theory right here and right here then what okay all right set to so that is that over there so let us check the distance now i press m i'm pressing m press m on your keyboard all right when you press m i press m i pick length from here to here that's what 84 84 84 simply refers to us uh you understand that is the distance there the distance is what 84 all right and that is that over there if the area is 84 pressing my m again pressing my m from here to here 78 then i told you we should be having 75 so i need to make that correction i need to make that correction so i'm going to have 75 over there all right so that's 78 minus 75 i'm having what's 30 so i need to remove 1.5 from uh this particular extrusion here 1.5 from this extrusion so i'm going to click double click on this extrusion okay yeah that's going to be 42 minus 1.5 all right that will be it then i'm going to press was okay everything is going to be corrected so now press your m i've pressed my m now so pressing my m this area to so this area is what 75 in line with the what with the dimension of the pulley the length of the pulley okay so we are good to go right now we are good to go okay so cancel this then coming to this bottom yeah create a sketch right here on that bottom yeah on that bottom we are having something like this let me first create this rectangle rectangle of length of uh 62 right here then width of uh 200 right here enter okay that's it right there so i'm going to uh get the center line right there i'm reducing the center line with hidden hidden line all right like that in that manner then on the vertical plane also in this manner but i'm not sure that our vertical one is at the center yeah because initially the dimension from here to here should be giving me this is 277 it thought to be 280 it should be 280 so first of all finish your sketch let's correct that it should be 280 that was a result of the theory we reduced so coming to my extrusion here i am adding plus 1.5 to this all right plus 1.5 okay to this here then okay okay yeah so then coming back to my sketch theory double click all right so in this manner yeah so checking this dimension now this should be giving me 280 yeah that is 280 right there accept so half of 280 is what 140 accept okay and this area the span there is what is 125 accept okay half of 125 is 62.5 accept okay so using my symmetric constraint i pick this this and this all right 
picking my symmetry constraint again i pick this this and this okay so what else so we have several holes there holes of uh diameter 12 all right diameter 12 so picking the first hole diameter what diameter 12 right here okay and the second hole diameter what uh so sorry the second hole is diameter 12 also all right the with that right there picking my dimension the distance between this first hole and this second hole right here is uh mark of two eight mm -hmm. mark of 230 230 enter so i'm going to use my symmetric constraint now so pick this pick this then pick this to centralize it all right so that is what that is settled right there okay so i'm going to produce this also diameter 12 also so with my c dimension this and this the distance in between them is what is 88 88 enter so i'm going to use my symmetric constraint also this this and center you can see okay so then i can now produce this last circle right here okay so you can see so diameter was 12 enter so i'm going to uh finish my sketch okay finishing my sketch i'm going to click on extrude so let me extrude the o's first o1 uh keep on searching so let me just turn it to the bottom and see it all two all three and all four so distance will be what all okay i'm going to click on what okay the holes are ready so collapsing that collapsing this collapsing this then coming here my sketch theory visibility i click on extrude this one yeah the distance is six with six going towards the inside i click what okay so i'm going to fillet the whole of the inside right there fillet of what six so how do we do that so opening the area right here right this we pick this turning it this way yeah oh i've made it okay applied so that's it as you can see yeah so that is our what our object fully what fully ready fully ready all right so i'm going to sketch theory hide then uh, collapse all right so uh, this right here let me pick something like stainless steel yeah view realistic okay i think this one is better this way and i'm going to what contrast we name it as what frame we name it as frame okay so i think our parts are complete now check one two three four five and what and six so the six parts are what they are actually complete now yeah they are complete now okay what's the next thing now the next thing is to what is to assemble these parts all together okay so pressing my control n with my control n i pick my what standard mmiam picking my standard mmiam i click on what on create all right i click on create so it's loading okay so we have actually created a workspace for the for the assembly view so i'm going to click on place clicking on place i'm going to pick uh 
all the objects at the same time all right and i'm going to click on what's open clicking my open yeah that's it so i've actually placed it there then i'm going to click on what uh escape all right so having this issue. so there are some components there that we are going to need them twice example is what the washer so i'm going to click on place again then i'm going to click on washer okay click on washer open then what places right there okay so one thing i'm going to advise you guys to actually deduce is this so uh it is not actually magic magical to deduce whether this object is going to enter this object for example now the bush you understand the, that bush the external diameter of that bush is 21 all right why the internal diameter is what is 15. so that 21 now you can see the pulley there you can see that the old inside that pool is what is 21 what does it implies that implies that that bush is entering into what into that pulley and even see the length the length of that pulley is what 75 and the length of that bush is what is 75 so you compare the dimensions yeah you compare the dimensions you compare the structures then you are going to deduce where a particular component is going to actually fit into all right so it is not magical it is what is actually uh, visible uh, to the eyes to actually what to see all right so also look at the position of the boat even in this particular problem everything has been actually arranged so you don't have uh, any problem with this so let's continue let's continue okay so uh this is my frame i am going to actually ground my frame all right i'm going to ground it grounded okay so other components can be moved but this frame can't be what moved other components can be moved as it were okay so the very first thing i'm going to actually uh place here is my uh bushing inside my what inside my uh pulley right here okay so i'm going to use the insert constraint all right placing the bushing right there inside this then uh placing it this way you can see so apply my bushing is what is sitting properly is sitting properly as it were okay so what's next what's next the next thing is this looking at the position of our pulley okay i'm going to come right here zoom it out very well so pick this area like this with my insert constraint also then come down here and what place it can you see i'm going to press what apply also so let's see whether they are in line it will surely be once you can see you can see that the hole is what straightforward to the other end okay so that is actually set with also so picking my washer picking one washer from there placing it here all right and what apply then picking the second washer coming down here and what placing it here okay apply also okay so then picking our what our boat okay for the boat i'm going to pick uh so that you can see for yourself so we pick this area here all right picking that area there we apply it right here can you see that's our boot right there okay i'm going to click on what apply then my note picking this particular face this flat face right here that's my note i'm going to click what okay so that is it over there but i think the color of most of these things are more or less like the same so let us change the color of uh the frame yeah let's change the color of our frame right here so let's change the material material let me use uh something like steel let's change there's no change oh that's not okay let me use something like silver i think silver will be okay yeah silver is good all right so control s right here then coming back here so i think yeah it's actually better this way it's better this way so that's it so you can see perfect you can see even the pool is what is sitting inside of it perfectly all right and i can actually turn my boots turn my boots turn my boots wherever i, I would i like I can turn this to wherever I want I like okay so let me leave that that way also looking at it from this you can see it's actually beautiful to the eyes yeah aesthetically it is what it is okay you can see it looks free yeah it looks free all right so we save this as what as our assembly assembly 
okay assembly so that's it so now let's move to the words to the working drawings to the working drawings okay so i'm going to press my control n my control n to iso idw then what then create so that one is loading also is loading okay so we have it right now we have it right now so i'm going to click my what my this picking my this i am creating uh the part list first of all all right so in this manner yeah in this manner having it this way should we change the scale let's change the scale to one ratio point eight Okay, one ratio one point eight. Let's see. Okay, one point five. Let's see. Okay, one point This component one okay and this component five okay that's so our bushing is nothing but our sectional view will show us what will show us the bushing it will show us the bushing all right so pick my part list yeah picking assembly open okay in this manner all right so i'm going to double click on it this part number i change it to what uh format colon so that would be part name all right part name description for the boat the boat is done via was trading t h r e a d i n g boat is done through trading the bush bush is done through uh turning turning on late boring okay so not not is done via trading all right pulley is done via and boring or drilling that would be two then i'm going to click my words my okay so that is what it says i need to ensure it sits uh very well all right to so ensure it sits very well so in this manner so sitting comfortably coming yeah 
so sitting comfortably in that manner so let's deliver this arrows as metric uh, view okay so yeah okay so you remember edit this bar your come to your project this one cancel then what okay okay so now i'm going to check for the scale the scale is was one ratio 1.3 so i'm going to press my multi test coming down here i'm going to write my what my scale s c a l e and my scale is what one ratio 1.3 1.3 with my words okay yeah and i label this about as isometric view all right then what okay so that is that about that that is that about that so control n let's create yeah we can have an auxiliary view here so so let's create an auxiliary view base in that manner all right okay yeah auxiliary in this in this manner yeah so i'm going to double click on this then this and remove hidden details okay in this manner so i'm good to go so you save this as what as auxiliary auxiliary so you do the necessary changes to the information right here this edit with text and your words using your uh multi-text too so i'm going to move on because we still have a long way towards to go okay so i'm creating the full autograph projection of the assembled view now yeah the full autograph projection so this one coming this way position this way coming right down 